Hey everybody, do you have a Behringer X-Touch and you've been wondering how to connect it to Ableton so that you have some tactile control? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go. Okay, the first thing we need to do is set our X-Touch to the appropriate control. To change the control mode of our X-Touch, make sure the device is powered off and then we're gonna hold the select button on channel one while we power the device back on. This brings us into our control mode. So in this case, we wanna set our mode to MC, which is for Mackie control, and our interface is set to USB. And back here, we have a USB cable plugged in. That's how we're gonna interface with our computer. Now that we've set our X-Touch to be in the correct control mode, we can set up the software to receive commands from the X-Touch. So here we are in Ableton. Now, um, I'll mention that the setup for Ableton with your X-Touch in Mac and PC are exactly the same. There's just a slight naming convention difference in Mac, which I'll mention as we get to it, but I'm just gonna show you the setup here on PC and you can use these same instructions to set it up on your Mac. So what we wanna do here is come up to Options and go down to Preferences or it's Control Comma. I believe it's the same shortcut on, on Mac. Um, but anyway, once you're in your Preferences window, you're gonna click on your Link, Tempo, and MIDI tab. Under Control Surface, you are going to choose Mackie Control. And then on PC, you're gonna look for X-Touch. And on Mac, this is where the slight naming convention is different. I believe it says X-Touch Internal. You wanna make the same input and output choice on both PC and Mac. Don't look for different ones, internal, external, whatever. It's whatever you choose for input is the same one you choose for output. Now, as soon as you close this window, you should have control. Um, it's really hard to see on the window because the faders are so small, but it is working. I'll just switch my view here and show you. So here you can see I am using my faders for control. You'll see that changing in the software window. You can see me making selections here. Everything's working, play and stop, scrub, all have commands that they do in Ableton. And that's it, same for Mac as it is for PC. You just need to jump through the rest of the commands on the surface and see what they actually do in the software so you know what you've got to work with. So there you go, quick and easy to use your X-Touch to control your faders and some other commands in Ableton Live. Make sure you check out our other X-Touch and DAW connection videos like uh, Pro Tools and Reaper. They should be linked here for you. I hope this video was interesting, informative. If it was either of those things, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, all the normal stuff. Check us out on Patreon if you want to help the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies.